ahead and give us an overview of the system. We'd love to know more about it and kind of explain why you think it works. Yeah, so before I show you kind of the logistics of it, a couple of things. One is that I really wanted to make this be something that was more of, like I said, an abbreviated version of journaling. And when anybody goes through any kind of change, as we've all been there many times in our lives, we realize that sometimes your energy levels can be up and down, your moods can be up and down, depending on what the change is, Um, especially if it's a challenging one, it's something that's really helpful to have kind of that guidance. So the purpose really of this book is to have you gather data. And it doesn't necessarily have to be sitting down for two hours a night and jotting down all your thoughts. You could do it as, you could use it as a journaling tool because there's journaling pages in there. But the main pages are really about gathering these sound bites and then being able to look back and, and recognize patterns. So that's really kind of the crux of the system itself. Um, And I'm going to walk you through just the three different pages and I'll show you kind of how that works. But I also tell people, use it kind of in the way that you want to. I really encourage people to customize it. Some people that I see that use these books are like they doodle in them and they're, you know, they they really personalize the book Mm -hmm. because it's really kind of like your companion as you're going through whatever times you're going through. These are the daily pages. And so just to kind of give you a rough overview of this, you're gonna see on the right hand side, you see mood checks and it's morning, midday and evening. And those are just meant to be sort of the different time checks during the day to really take a look at how you're feeling. I often tell people that it's really helpful to do like a color code. And you'll see in the instructions of the book that it it gives you sort of ideas of how to use that. Um, Because then when you're looking back, and I'll show you in the next next, um, slide, but when you're looking back, you're able to really kind of see patterns visually. Um, Other people might use one, two, three, right? You could really use whatever kind of coding system that you want, but it's just really the purpose of that is to have you collect that data from the day to say, okay, how am I feeling? And really to do it at different points of the day, just to kind of get a gauge of how it's going. Um, The AM, PM check-ins are really just that. And I've been asked a lot, you know, what's the best time to do this? I always say, you know, the mornings are, for me, it's not as easy in the mornings, although I'll typically pick up the book, you know, mid morning and kind of jot down sort of my starting point, but really the end of the day is kind of where it happens for me personally, because it's just, you have a little bit more time getting ready to go to bed. It's kind of my way to sort of close out the day. Um, so I just, I, I encourage people to jot down notes, jot down thoughts. Um, all of those things are going to be helpful as you kind of look through, um, what works best for you. And I'll go into that in a minute. Um, and then on the right hand side are daily rituals. And this is something that really was born out of the intention of, of giving some structure to the day. Um, and I know that especially when, you know, going through challenging times or times where you're feeling a little bit out of sorts, it's really nice to have those touch points. Um, so these are just some main categories that are down here that, that you could hit. You could always cross them out, put your own daily rituals. And we encourage that because the other thing too, is not everybody has the same rituals. There's not, not everybody has the same things that really get them going during the day. So, um, and then you'll see on the bottom, you can add your own as well. So that's really the daily piece. You'll also see at the top, you can self date these. So it's not like you have to, I mean, a friend of mine once said to me, the thing that's so great about it is that if you miss a day or if you just say, like, it's not like, oh no, I've got this blank page that I didn't fill in. You can just start where you leave off. I so love it's that. a little bit less of it, you know? Yeah, um, I love that. Monthly. Let me go to weekly. Okay, so the weekly pages, this is kind of where I say all the magic happens because this is where you can really kind of start to see patterns. So at the very top, you just put in your overall mood for the day, for each of the day of the week. So go back to your day pages. I always pick the predominant color because sometimes you'll wake up in the morning, you're not feeling so great. And then you feel a little bit better in the afternoon. Writing those down, seeing what those patterns are. And then these prompts that are here are just to kind of ask some questions and really delve into it a little bit more deeply. Um, so it encourages you to kind of, you know, obviously think about some of the better moments of the week. What are some of the challenges? What are the kind of things that you want to be obviously looking forward to for the next week? And it just keeps sort of the momentum going, especially when you're, you know, going through some stuff and want to kind of gauge how you're feeling. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the monthlies and the monthly is really just setting intention. So this is really to say, okay, once you've gone through four weeks, getting an idea of what's popped up, what are, you know, what has been kind of your overall mood and maybe what are the kinds of things that you have uh, gained insight on and what are the things that you want to change for the next upcoming week. 
but then this is just broader actions and goals. So I always tell people, especially if they're going through stuff, I just say this from experience that attainable, reachable goals are really good to have. And the reason why I put this book um, out in like a three month, it's a three month window of time that this covers because I didn't, I didn't want people to feel overwhelmed. Like I don't to have a whole book of a whole of a whole year. It just feels like there's just too much yeah. to try to tackle. So this is just hopefully more digestible, more digestible for people, and and that they can kind of set more short term goals too. I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's kind of the layout. Um, the one thing that I would say is the mood checks and the, the sort of mood component of this is really helpful, and I have had. Um, feedback from people to say that have said, you know, looking back on this, it's not the kind of thing that you would normally jot down when you're journaling. You know, you would jot down thoughts or maybe things that come to mind or challenges that you're happening that are happening during the day. But um, just to really have that ability to see that visually is is really helpful. Well, the one component that I think I didn't touch upon as much as the mood was energy level, and that is something that goes without saying that when we're going through any kind of change, once again, positive or negative, yeah. sometimes our energy levels can get a little bit unstable, yeah. depending on you know, how well we're taking care of ourselves, how much we're worrying and how much excitement we've got going on. I mean, it could be anything, but our energy level can, can kind of fluctuate. And the key, I think, to getting through any change, and this is having worked with many, many clients who have been going through times that need optimal amount of, of stamina is that you want to keep your energy level up as much as you can. And so yeah. when we're looking at the mood checks and you're, and you're taking a look at the patterns, it's also identifying what brings you joy. And so those rituals can be moved around. They can be adjusted, changed. I, I encourage people to play around with it because you may, you may have something that lights you up that somebody else would be like, that doesn't even make sense for me. So yeah. it's really up to you to make that determination, but it also gives you that feeling of having control over mm -hmm. your, you know, physical and mental well-being. Mm -hmm. So anyways, th those are, that's just kind of the other part of this that I think is super helpful to, kn to know. I love that. The biggest thing for me, and, and hopefully it is for other people, is do what feels right to you, right? I don't want it to feel like any kind of an obligation because then it's not fun. And I mean, you want it to be a fun experience, but you also want it to have the ability to tell you something about yourself so that yeah. you can make some of the changes that really need to be made. So yeah. I would just say kind of don't, don't put guardrails around it. Just do it when you want to, how you want to, but just recognize that it's a tool that, that can really help. I have, you know, I have had a bunch of people that have given me feedback on this. And one that was a real kind of eye opener for me was, you know, we think about all of the logistics of kind of gathering data about yourself and seeing how, you, how you're doing from a wellness perspective. Um, it was a woman that had said she had gone through divorce and she said, this was a great system. And it was a really helpful one because it didn't feel like it was cumbersome or anything like I just, that was the last thing I needed was something extra to do. Mm -hmm. She said, but the thing that was so eye-opening to her was that she was able to go back. She said, I was able to actually kind of see the progress that I've made. And you know, the journaling piece of this book is really important because it's kind of like any journals. And if you've ever been a person that's that's written or, or had a journal in your life, you kind of get um, that there's, there's a lot in that, if, especially if you've journaled for many different years, you can go back and say, wow, you know, this was when I was like 13 or whatever. I mean, I have journals that go way back. Yeah. Um, but she basically just said, you know, I didn't realize how far I'd come. And that to me just really hit me because especially in something like that, where it's a struggle or a challenge and it's a, it's turning your world a little bit upside down, yeah. um, to be able to, to really kind of see how far you've come is not something that we often are able to do. Yeah. So it just, I thought that was a really great sort of piece of input that I wasn't even expecting, but I was really pleased to hear. That's awesome. Okay. Anything else that you want to share about your office? No, just that, that it, this sounds like such a great experience and I'm really excited for everybody that's going to be joining the program and I hope everybody enjoys their day book and makes it their own and has just a wonderful experience.